Hey, Cam team. Uh, so you guys have learned that some reactions are reversible. That is, uh, after the reactants have converted into products, the products are able to convert back into reactants. Now, there's a couple of factors that affect whether the reaction mostly moves forward to make products or moves backwards uh, to make reactants. Now, we call this idea uh, Le Chatelier's principle. Uh, now, one of the ways to shift uh, the reaction either forwards or backwards uh, is to add more reactants, uh, products, or heat. So in our example here, if we were to add more reactants, in this case, either add more heat or add more ammonium chloride, uh, that would mean that more products would get made in this reaction. Uh, but the opposite would be true, too. If we added uh, more products to our system, that is, we added more hydrogen chloride or more ammonium, uh, that would end up resulting in more reactants being made. The reaction would shift backwards. Uh, you can also shift uh, the reaction by removing reactants, uh, products, or heat. Uh, so in our same example here, if we were to remove uh, some of our reactants, uh, that would shift our reaction back toward uh, the reactants. Or vice versa, if we were to remove some of our products, uh, it would result in more products being made to replace the ones that were lost. Uh, and the last way to move a reaction either forward or backwards is to change the external pressure on the system. So in our reaction, because our reactants are solid and our products are gases, uh, if we were to increase uh, the external pressure on this reaction, uh, we'd end up with more reactants. Uh, and you can kind of see that intuitively happening. If you were to, uh, to compress the system, uh, the system will end up uh, favoring whichever side is more dense. And in this case, it's whichever side has less gases. Uh, but the opposite is true. If you decrease the pressure, uh, the reaction will expand toward whichever side has uh, more gas particles. Uh, so in this case, decreasing pressure would make more products. And that's it. At this point, you guys have a couple of practice problems. We'll see you in class tomorrow.